Hello friends, very good evening. Welcome to Engineering Basic. Today we will study in this video about how to find a reverse of a number in a flowchart and how to find a sum of odd digit from a number, right? Okay, if you haven't subscribed until now, then please go and subscribe to see this type of interesting video and and don't worry, I will provide many questions with solution in this channel. Now let's come to our problem. First, we'll solve how to find a, a reverse number, right? How to find a reverse number? First, I'll give a little hints how to find our that. Okay. First, I'll write here question. Write a program. Write a program to find a reverse number. To find a rewards, to find a reverse number in what? In flowchart. In flowchart. Okay. This is the question. First, we'll look at algorithm. What, what is how to find a flow reverse number? I'll take one example of any number. I'll take 193. Okay. If I, I if I have to find a revolve of 193 and what will our output should become three right nine and one this should our output should become okay and how to solve this right first we have to do 193 more this is more means remainder by 10 we have to do okay how much it will be 193 more 10 once calculate it will be three remainder, right? Now, after this, we have to what do? We have to divide with 193 by 10. Okay. And what it will come in integer value, not in real? It will become 90, right? The day after, what we have to do? 90 mode. We have to take out mode 10. Understood? 19 more 10, what it will be? 9, right? Then after what we have to do? 19 by 10, how much it will come? 1, right? I will not calculate of a point, leave that a point value. Now, we have to check 1 mode 10 equal to equal to how much it will be one this thing only we will do in now in flowchart okay okay now look what will happen first what we will take number we'll take declare for we go in declare we have to take number for insulation value what will take i right now what we are going to do reverse means rev i'll write Okay, I'll keep here right uh, for I'll ask with computer to give a number. Enter any number. Enter any number. Right. Enter any number. Now we should give input value to computer. What we should give? Num. Okay. And what I'll assign here I equal to one. In while loop, I'll use in this while loop. So I'll assign one. Okay. Okay. Understood. Now go on, just go on while loop. For what, what we have to do in while loop? Norm is not equal to zero or norm is less than zero. Anything you can write. I'll write norm is not equal to zero. Not equal to zero. Okay. Now. What we have to do in rewards? Go and assign. What we have to do in rewards? Rewards more 10. We have done. Means we have, we have to norm. Means norm more 10. Right. R E B rewards equal to norm more 10. We have done here. Then after what we'll do? By 10. Right. Norm equal to 
for what we are doing for norm norm equal to norm by 10 norm by 10 okay now we'll ask here output of what reverse number right output of reverse number this is the while loop so for increment we have to do plus one in i understood for i equal to what we have to do i plus one in for loop we have to do i plus plus so this we have, we have done i equals to i plus one right our program is completed now check there i'll give here 193 193 391 391 if i'll check 98765 56789 56789 understood this is how to find a reverse of a number in a flowchart understood right it is easy yeah now We'll solve another problem. Okay. What was the another problem? To find the sum of odd digit. Okay. I'll drop this. Okay. Now what we have to find? I'll write here question. Write a program. Write a program to find what? To find the sum of the sum of odd digit odd digit digit from what from number we have to find odd digit from number now what we should have to do same as reverse what same as reverse i'll show here what will be the answer okay i'll keep one four five in this which what are the odd number five and one right the sum of five and one it will be six in this output should become six in this question that is only asking if i'll enter one two three four five and what will come output one plus three plus five what will come five plus one six seven eight nine our output should become nine we have to do same as a reverse number okay so I'll show in this direct flow chart. First, what should we have to take? Number. Okay. For initialization, what we have to use? I. Okay. For reverse, we have to use REB. And in this, what we have to give? Sum. Because we have we have we are what we are going to do? Sum. So that we'll keep here. Sum. Understood? Okay. I have told. First, I'll declare this, then I'll give. I'll enter, enter a number, enter any number which you want, which you want. Anything you can write. Okay, I'll write input in this norm. Okay, now what we have to assign? I equal to i equal to 1 in for loop i equal to 1 understood and i have remember in previous video i have told in some difference in this all we have to assign what 0 sum equal to 0 right we have to declare sum equal to 0 now again go on this while loop and what you have to do norm is less than equal to no less than zero or norm is not equal to zero i'll do same as previous of reverse number okay zero norm is not equal to zero now what have we have done that time reverse right reverse mode reverse because what we have done norm mode what 10 we have done that time for reverse number same now again for what that time what we have done assign norm equal to norm equal to 
हाँ नॉम डिवाइड बाय टेन ओके वी हैव डन दिस मच नाउ वी हैव टू चेक हेयर व्हाट वी हैव टू चेक हेयर वी हैव टू चेक वी हैव टू चेक डिसीजन राइट डिसीजन बॉक्स इफ रिवर्स व्हाट विल गिव इफ रिवर्स मोड मोड इफ रिवर्स मोड टू what it will be not equal if it will be equal to 2 then it will come even so we will not give here not equal to right not equal to 2 equal to 0 equal to 0 okay for true side then after what it will be i have kept some so here it will be some equal to what some equal to Sum plus rewards. It is simple. You can also do it yourself. Sum plus rewards. Okay. We have done this much thing. Now, for while loop, what I have told that time also, we have to initialize i equal to i plus one, i equal to i plus one, right? I equal to i plus one. This will run here. Then after listen, num is not equal to zero. This will calculate here first. Then it will come here. Then this will calculate here. In this way here, it will go come there. In this way, this in this process, it will come go and go. Then what it will come here? We have to print output. I'll write. Understood? Now then, please comment me. The sum of what I write, sum of odd digit, odd digit from from the integer i n t e their integer is double quote. I have to close right now. What what we have to give and sum. Okay, understood. This program is also completed. You can look here. Okay. Now we'll run this. I check here one four five first. Enter any number which you want. One four five. I want the number is six. Again, I'll write one two three four five. Answer should become nine. Okay. Anything you can keep. Eight, seven, nine. What should be answer come? Eight is the even number, so seven and nine is odd number. Seven plus nine, sixteen. The sum of odd digit of a number, odd digit from integer is sixteen. Okay. This was the program of odd sum of odd digit of a number, and we have done today two program of rewards and this. Again, I'll keep many many question related to this. And flow chart. Okay, don't worry. What is taught in college or university? That everything I will try to give you all. Okay, thank you. If you haven't subscribed, then please go and subscribe to see this like this type of all interesting video. Thank you.